Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me my great salvation so full and free. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation so full and free. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul, thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation, so full and free. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation, so full and free. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Mamie. Good morning, Sister Jan. God bless you, Sister Beverly. God bless you, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, Sister Polk. God bless you, Mother Fears. Good morning, Sister Mamie. God bless you, Sister Angie. God bless you, Sister Walker. God bless you, Brother and Sister Mott. Praise the Lord, Sister Gray. God bless you, Sister Street. God bless you, Sister Patrick. God bless you, Sister Haynes. God bless you, Sister Nixon. Praise the Lord, Sister Cleckley. God bless you, Lydia. Good morning. Good morning, Sister McWhite. God bless you, Sister Hamilton. God bless you. Sister Roberts, praise the Lord, Sister Janice, God bless you, Brother Tony, God bless you, Sister Deborah, God bless you, Sister Mary, God bless you, Sister Perry, God bless you, Sister Carly, God bless you, Kathy, good morning, Brenda, good morning, Sister Edmund, God bless you, Deacon Grant, praise the Lord to you, sir, God bless you, Brandy, God bless you, Brother Wardlaw, God bless you, Keisha, God bless you, Sister Jackson Holmes, God bless you, Sister Hooten, God bless you, Deacon and Mother Wilson. God bless you, Sister Chambliss. God bless you, Mother Fields. God bless you, Mama Nett. God bless you, Sister Duchess. Praise the Lord, Sister Gordon. God bless you, Lady Austin. God bless you, Pastor and Lady Aldi. God bless you, Sister Tamika. Praise the Lord, Sister Felix. God bless you, Sister Hedrick. Good morning, Tracy. God bless you, Missionary Hamilton. God bless you, Valencia. Good morning. Good morning, Deacon Briggs. God bless you, Mother Holman. God bless you, Pastor Dykes and Sister Dykes. Thank God for you both. God bless you, Sister Adrini. Margaret, God bless you. Glad you made it in. Praise the Lord, Jeannie. God bless you. God bless you, Missionary Johnson. God bless you, Sister Saunders. God bless you, Reedy. Rita, God bless you, Sister Kim. Praise the Lord. Evangelist Pettiford, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Sister Deborah Horton, God bless you. Good morning, Sister Shy. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Durham. God bless you. Praise the Lord to you as well. Good morning. Good morning, Brother Wiggins. God bless you, sir. Good morning to you. Good morning. God bless you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. God bless you, Sister Deborah. And we thank God for each of you to have joined us today. It is once again a pleasure, a privilege, and an honor to be able to share these precious moments with you in a biblical meditation and in prayer. More things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we continue to every day receive praise reports from people all over the world who are being blessed and strengthened, healed, delivered. God is working miracles. God's even working financial miracles for some. Praise God. Somebody um, texted me yesterday. They were on their way to take care of a business matter and thought it was going to take a larger, 
fairly large amount of money. So they take this amount of money with them. They get there and they only need a third, a third, a third of what they thought they were going to need. Why? Because God is working in the lives of his people. God is granting petitions. God is answering prayer. God is bringing families together. God is saving. God is delivering. And guess what? God is just getting started. Hallelujah. He's not finished by any stretch of the imagination, but he continues. He continues to manifest himself. He continues to show himself to be the God that he is. And so we continue to pray and we lift up families. We are praying today for the family of um, Bishop and Sister Staten. Um, Sister Staten let me know that her mother-in-law passed away and the services are today. So we are lifting up that family that God would continue to strengthen and to bless them. As we pray for all of our bereaved families, we are, we are praying and we're lifting up, hallelujah, families. Whatever the needs are, we are trusting God because God does indeed meet needs. As always, if you have a prayer request, please feel free to place it into the chat. Put the name of the person you're praying for into the chat. If it's of a private nature, you can certainly inbox me either at Reginald Davis or at the Refuge Temple inbox to share your prayer request. I want to thank everybody who has joined me in this time of fasting and praying because I am believing God for miracles. There are some things that are not moved, hallelujah, until the people of God turn their place down and in, in reverence and contrition and faith, turn to God in fasting and praying, then we see God move. So we're in a 10-day fast leading to Pentecost, which is not this, but next Sunday. So we're fasting each day for the next 10 days. And, and I told you that um, however you are best able to fast, that's how you should fast. Now, we know some people have physical conditions and take medications and things of that nature, and we don't want anybody to jeopardize your health, all right? Please don't do that. We want you to drink also lots of water so you are able to stay hydrated. We don't want you to get dehydrated as well. But if you want to join the fast with us, fast at least six hours, at least six hours, all right? Some of you are able to do more. You can fast 12 12 hours, some of you can fast and just eat one meal a day. But however you are able to do that, the, the, the most important thing is that we come together in fasting and praying. So join us if you desire to do so, all right? Please join us and feel free to expect from God a miracle in your life for you and your family because God is going to do that. I want to go back to the word today. We're still in the third chapter of Ephesians, but I want to move now to verse number um, 14. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse number 14 is where you'll find us in your Bibles this morning. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 14. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted, grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. And the thought this morning simply is, I am praying for you. I am praying for you. Prayer is communication. Prayer is dialogue. Prayer is offering um, our request offering our needs, our situations before God. Therefore, prayer should, in most cases, have two critical elements. The faith of the believer that is praying and the intent for which the believer is praying. In other words, what are you praying for? What are you believing God to do? What are you seeking from the hand and the mind of God? What direction 
are you moving towards? Where do you need God to help? Prayer should have an intent. We don't um, pray randomly. We don't pray just to um, shoot the breeze with God, even though it's good to just sometimes go in prayer and not ask God for anything. If God has been good to you and there are no petitions, it's okay to say, Lord, I just want to thank you for what you've done. I just want to honor you for what you have done. But usually, usually we pray. And I think it's important that we not only um, pray for ourselves, but it's important that we pray for others. It's important that we engage in what is called intercessory prayer. Because when you truly um, know how to pray, you not only pray for your needs and the needs of your house and the needs of your family, but you begin to branch out and pray for others because other people have needs. Other people need the Lord to do something in their life. Other people are searching for the manifestation of God. And so he, he commands us to pray one for another. In fact, praying for somebody is an indication that you really love them. When you are willing to pray for them, even if they aren't necessarily the best person in your life, but because I want God to do something for them, I'm going to lift them up in prayer. And this, this, this prayer was the center to some degree of Paul's letter to the um, Ephesian church. He was thrilled that these Ephesians had come, these Gentiles had come to Jesus Christ, had been saved, were walking with the Lord. And the, it, it seems like the whole intent is just encouragement, and admonition, and support. And, and that's why he talks to them about what belongs to them. He talks to them about what is theirs as believers, that they are now a part of the one family. And there are no redhead stepchildren in God's family. There are no second class citizens in God's family. If you are a part of the family of God, you can lay claim to the blessings and the promises of God. And there's no need for you to feel like I'm less or I'm this or I'm that. If you indeed have a fellowship with God, you can claim what God offers to all of his children. Because the one reality, I told my daughter this earlier or yesterday, that God is not the respecter of person. God doesn't have favorites. Or if I would say this, all of us are God's favorites. All of us are God's, hallelujah, picks. All of us are God's pets because he loves all of us and he does for all of us and he dotes on all of us. See, I'm convinced and, and, and it took me a while and this is a, a, an important step in your spiritual life. You have to come to the realization that the Lord doesn't love anybody more than he loves you. Oh God, oh God there is nobody on the planet that the Lord loves any more than he loves you. He might bless people differently. He might prosper people in a different way, but there is nobody created whom God loves more than he loves you. So that means God wants you to have everything, everything, everything that belongs to you as a believer. And this is this is the prayer. And I'm, I'm almost out of time, but this is the prayer that Paul prays. He says, for this cause, I bow my knees unto the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. In other words, every family is named under the banner of Jesus Christ. We all carry the same name. We all carry the same name. Every, the whole family in heaven, the entire family in heaven and in earth. Remember, he is looking not only at the natural realm, he's looking in the spiritual realm. And he says it's the intent of the Father to bring together the heavenly and the earthly at the last day. That's the Lord's intent, that the heavenlies join the earthly. So he's praying for the entire family, or he's alluding to the entire family of heaven and earth. All of us 
those who have gone on, those who are still with us, all of us, the entire family, we're one family. And when you've got one family to have harmony in the family, you can't have picks and favorites. And you don't, the last thing you want is when someone passes away, well, mama liked you best and daddy thought you were his favorite. None of that. Oh God, none of that in the heavenly family. In the heavenly family, we are all one. And when God blesses, he blesses the whole family. He blesses everybody in the family because because we are one. And, and here's his prayer, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. Remind yourself that the God you serve is not poor. The God you serve is not penniless. The God you serve is not insufficient. He has everything. Oh, Shataye, he has everything that you need. There is not a prayer request on this line that God does not have the capacity to fill and to supply. You don't have a need that God can't step in and make a way for. You don't have a problem that God can't fix. Oh, hallelujah. You don't have something that God can't do in your life. But Whatever you need, he says that according to his riches in glory, of glory, that you be strengthened and in might in his by with with might by his spirit in the inner man. God's first, God's first priority. Listen to me. God's first priority is your inner man. Yes, he will pay your bills. Yes, he will heal your body. Yes, he will supply your needs. Yes, he will work things out. He'll bless you with a job. He'll bless you with a home. But God's first priority is your inner man. And God is praying that his spirit strengthen you, oh God, in the inner man. Your spirit, ashataye, your soul, your mind. God is trying to strengthen that. Because when that strengthens, the other areas of your life, can come into focus. Some people want the blessings of God, but we don't want God on the inside. Some people want the favor of God, but we don't want God on the inside. How can you want the things of God and not want God himself? I want God inside of me. I want him strengthening me. I want him edifying me because when that happens, what? Christ will dwell in your hearts by faith and you'll be rooted and grounded in love. In other words, you will be confident of God's love for you. God wants you confident that he cares for you, that he's searching for you, that he is strengthening you. God wants you confident that the things of life won't move you and sway you to the right nor to the left. God wants you rooted in him because life goes through changes. Life goes through cycles. We never thought in January of 2020 that we would be where we are right now, coming out of potential a pandemic, but God brought us through and God brought us through because we were rooted in him and we were grounded in him. Some of us face sickness. Some of us have dealt with the loss of loved ones. Some of us have dealt with scarcity because of the lack of jobs or whatever, but God has held on to us. Oh God. And he has rooted us. Oh, hallelujah. He says, I'm praying that you would be strengthened in the inner man. I'm praying that Christ would dwell in your hearts by faith and that you would be rooted and grounded. And I'm praying that you be able to comprehend with all saints. Saints, God wants us to have the understanding of his word and his will. Because when you understand the word of God, when you understand the mind of God, when you understand the will of God, it changes the dynamics of your life. And he said, I don't want you just to have an esoteric or a surface level understanding. I want you to comprehend with all saints. I want you to know with all saints what is the breadth of God? What is the length of God? What is the height, the depth of God? What is the height of God? In other words, I want you to have an in-depth understanding of God. God wants you to have more than just Jesus loves me. God wants you to have more than just, that's a good place to begin, but it shouldn't be your final spot. The, Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn and learn and learn of me. That means I ought to be in a learning process of learning about God because the more I learn about him, the more I can trust him, the more I can rely upon him and the more I can give to him so that he is able to bless my life. And to know, oh my God, the love of Christ, which passive knowledge. Oh, what a blessing to know the love of Christ. 
a love that is completely almost to the point of beyond understanding. How could he love me? Oh God, knowing what I did, knowing where I've been, knowing how I've behaved, but yet he loved me. And this love, passive knowledge. Sometimes it's mind staggering. Sometimes it's mind staggering how much the Lord loves you, but yet he loves us. Yet he has mercy. I'm not done. I got to finish this tomorrow. But this is the prayer. The prayer is that God develop us to a place of greater spiritual intimacy and greater spiritual understanding. God wants you to come to a place of growth in him. God wants you to come to a place of power in him. God wants you to come to a place of authority and knowledge in him. And the intent of the word and the intent of the presence of God is that you grow. I'm praying, Paul says, I'm praying for you that you become greater in your capacity. This is what this is about. We're going to talk about this tomorrow, that God wants to increase our capacity. Can you hold more? Oh, God. So God can do more in your life. Come on, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you. I love you. I thank you for life and health and strength. I thank you, God, for every blessing you have bestowed upon us. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your keeping power. I thank you, God, because you continue, Lord, to care for us and to love us. I thank you for waking us up this morning and bringing us together and Lord, I thank you for my brothers and sisters who have joined me together in prayer. Thank you, God. Oh, God, for the privilege of prayer. Thank you for the access that we have with you. Thank you for your grace because none of this is deserved, but it's all a function of your grace and your mercy. And for that, we are thankful. And God, I'm praying for every person that has joined us this morning and will join us today on this prayer line. Lord, I'm praying that you would bless them today. Oh, God, as only you can. Something they need, something they desire, something they've been waiting on, something they've been crying out to you about, something they haven't even talked about with others. But Lord, they're believing you for it. Lord, I want you to grant it to them in the name of Jesus. I want you to open up heaven. He cut on the see Oh God, on their behalf. I want you to bless their families. Oh God, I want you to save their children, God. I want you to move, oh God, among their grandchildren. Oh God, I want you to move among, oh God, their friends. God, do something. Oh God, that shows your presence. Oh God, in our lives. God, I'm praying right now for the names that are on the prayer list, the names that are in the prayer book, God. I'm lifting up, oh God, these people because we trust and believe, God, that you are able to touch and to heal and to deliver. God, today we're praying, my God, for Jalen and Bryson and Tiffany and Scott. We're praying for, oh God, the Brown family. We're praying for Pastor Wendell and Lady Ingrid Williams in Trinidad. We're praying for Corey, for the Gill family, for Mark, for the Hooten family. We're praying for Linda, for Nadia. We're praying for Vivian's daughter today. We're praying, oh God, for the Lovick family. We're praying for Don and Mary Dalton. We're praying for Matt and Jill and Pam and Garland. We're praying for Deacon and Mother Wilson today. We're lifting up Bishop and Lady Staten, God. We're praying for the Bernard family. We're praying for Dee Dee Lewis. We're praying for Joan Brown. We're praying for Andrew Newsom, for the Scott family, the Diaz family, the Lovett family. We're praying for KJ and family. We're praying for Diane Singletary and family. We're praying for Mother Stevenson today, for Charm Davis, for, Ab for the Abney family. We're praying for Angelica, for Mark, for Marquel, for Marquise. We're praying for Hezekiah Haynes. We're praying for TC and TJ. We're praying for the Crutchfield family, for Chris Miller. We're praying for Ann Kelly and her family. We're praying for Elder John Mosley and his family and the church family. We're praying for the Joneses today. We're praying for the Amerson family, the Watson family, the Mingo family. God, we lift up and we pray today. My God, we pray for Matt Long and John Peoples and Todd Hood, for Justin Everett. We pray for Caffrey, for Elwina. We pray for Elisa, for the Herman family, for Eddie. Oh God, 
Eddie and Barbara. We pray for the backsliders everywhere. We pray for Malika today, God. We pray for Asia. We pray for Mark. We pray for the Pew family. We pray for, for, for Arlene Curse. We pray for Jonathan Francis. We lift up Daniel to da Daniel and Francis today. We pray for the Hill family. We pray for the Shepherd family. We pray for Rogera. We pray for the Brockett family, for Dorothy Jacobs. We pray for Adrian and Michael Jackson. We pray for Debbie Agnew today. We pray for Rodney Edwards, for Zachary Silva, for Mac Kayla Silva for Mikhail Silva. We pray, my God, for Jeremiah Harris today. We lift up Regina Brockett. We pray for Greater Prayer Temple today. Oh God, we pray, oh God, for Bishop and Mother Hardy and the church family. We pray for Rashad Howard. We pray for Jacada Mott. We pray for Kelly for the Kelly family, for the Bailey family. God, and every name that's on the prayer list, every name in the prayer book, every name in the chat, God, every name that's been sent by text or by email. God, we lift up those names now. And we pray that you would meet the needs of those and so many other people God we're praying my God for unsaved loved ones we're praying for unsaved friends we're praying oh God for backsliders we're praying oh God for those that stand in need of a miracle God stretch out your hand stretch out your mighty hand because you are able there is nothing too hard for you God and there's nothing that you cannot fix God we're lifting it up now we're praying, oh God, for Ray Harrell, Charles Harrell, Jesse Harrell. We're praying for Jack Keese this morning. We're praying for Andre, God. We're praying, oh God, for so many people that need a miracle today. Oh God, we're praying for Deborah, oh God, an angel. We're praying, oh God, for Kenneth. Oh God, we're praying, oh God, because you've got a hand and you've got a voice. So God, stretch out your hand right now. Speak to these precious hearts. Lord, deliver, save to the utmost. Lord, restore, reclaim. Lord, we're praying for anybody on this call. Oh, Shatanaye Shianama, that needs the baptism of the Holy Ghost. God, I'm praying that the Holy Ghost would come and visit them right now. Touch them now in the name of Jesus. Every open heart, every repentant spirit, every sp spirit that's surrendered, every soul that has faith. Lord, fill and baptize in the name of Jesus. That soul, oh, Shanama Satanaye, that needs restoration. They've grown cold. They've grown discouraged. They've grown weary. But God, visit with them now by an infusion of your power. And God, touch and deliver, Lord, because we know that you're able. We trust and believe you today. We trust and acknowledge that you're God. And we know that there is nothing, my God, beyond your hand and beyond your reach. God, we're praying today for the sick. We lift up Catherine today. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you so much for what you're doing, God. We pray for Toy, for A for Marlette today. We lift up Mother Shirley Clark. God, we pray for Lady Maxwell. God, we pray for Mother Evangeline Jenkins. We pray for Pastor Jackson and Pastor Carr. We lift up Brother Wiggins today, God. We pray Oh God, for Mother and Brother Sherrod. We pray for Deacon and Mother Garland. We pray, my God, for Mother Foster, Mother Tanaj, Mother Simmons, Mother Holman, Mother Carter. We pray for Dwight Wade and Joanne Cousin and George Lloyd. God, we lift up Duchess today, God. We trust you for healing. Oh, God, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. God, we're praying for Bessie. We're lifting up, oh, God, Mother Queen Power today. We're praying for Sister Dorothy Spellman. God, we're praying, my God, for Brother Chris Wright. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we're praying for Polly today, for for Keisha, for Levi, for Sharon, for Talisha, for Dorothea, for Valerie, for Joyce, for Samson, for Sesame. Oh God, for Maurice today, God, we're praying, oh God, for his healing and his salvation. We're praying, oh God, for Rodney and Lisa and Mary and Matthew. We're praying for Sandra today. We're lifting up, oh God, thanking you for what you're doing for Cynthia. God, we're praying, my God, for Deacon and Mother Grant today. God, strengthen, oh God, the man of God. And Lord, bless the woman of God. Lord, give healing, give turnaround, give progress in her healing process, God, in the name of Jesus. We're praying for Deacon Simmons. We're praying for Alice, for Athena, for Laura. God, we're lifting up Cynthia today, the Goss family, Akeem, Danielle. We're praying for Mother Cynthia Robinson. We're praying for Lucy, for Brenda, for Siobhan, for Edgar, for Calvin, for Rena, for Denise, for Trey. Oh God, for Micah. We're praying for Linda, my God, that you would touch the body. We're praying for Anita, God. We're praying for Danielle and Rebecca. We lift up Pastor Dykes 
today, God. Thank you, oh God, for what you're doing for the man of God. Lord, continue that healing process in his body and strengthen him, oh God, and Sister Dykes today. We're praying for Jackie. We're praying for Daisy, for Dorothy, for Marcus today. We're praying for Brenda. For Thomasina, for Tammy, for Melvin, for Kim, for DC. We're praying for Drew today. We're praying for Jamie. We're praying for Brandon. We're praying for Natasha. We're praying for Gary. We're lifting up District Elder Mark Jones. We're praying, oh God, for Bishop Kramer, to Apostle Kramer. We're praying for Natalie. We're praying for Barbara today, God. Lord God, we're lifting up, Lord, the names of the sick, God. Sister Isaac, Miss Wilder, Demetrius, God. We're praying for Maria. We're praying for Sandy, for Brenda, for Quasi. We're praying for Jack and Mary. We're praying, my God, for Pastor Asa McClendon. We're praying for Denise, God. We're lifting up Elder Tyson and Elder Smith, my God. We're praying for Tanya, Monica, and Lawrence Boyd. Lord, we know you're a healer. We're praying for Sylvester. We're praying for Elder and Mother Blunt today. We're praying for Melissa Brown. We're praying for Brother John. Oh, God, we're praying for Deacon Bernard. Oh, God, we're praying for Mr. Odom. We're praying for Eloise and her son. We're praying for Bessie. We're praying for Deacon Raymond Johnson today. For Rodney. For We're praying for for Demetrius, for May, for Kelsey, for Carolyn. We're praying, oh God, for grace. We're lifting up Mother Teresa Fears. Thank you for the healing in her body. Lord, continue and give a full recovery. We're praying for Nathaniel. We're praying for Linda, for Tevin, for Delbert today, God. We're praying, oh God, for, oh God, we're praying for Ethelene, God. We're praying, my God, Lord, we'll be, thank you for your sovereignty. God, we're praying for Marlon. We're praying for Lucia, for Mother Curse. We're praying for Miracle Destiny, God. We're praying, my God, for Pastor jo Joseph Moore. We're praying for the Brockett family. We're praying for Pastor and Lady Ward. We're praying for Henry J. today. Oh, God, you're a healer. We're praying for Francis Jr. We're praying for Tony Hyman. God, thank you for what you're doing. Lord, keep that healing going, Lord. We're praying for Elder Carl Grant. We're praying for Elder Harold Tucker. We're lifting up Anna and Catrice and Kayla and George. We're praying for Sister Marie. We're praying, my God, for Keisha Jackson today. God, we're praying, we're praying, God. God, for healing upon these sick bodies, Lord. Oh, God, we're praying for your deliverance because we know that you're able. God, we're praying for Jackie. Lord, we're lifting up Lady Deborah Carter today. God, we know that you're a healer. We're praying for Florence today. We know that you're a healer. We're praying for Francine, for Sister Wellesley. We're praying for Lana. We're praying for Mother Garvey, Mother Raya. We're praying for Lacine. We're praying for Edna. We're praying for Rochelle today. We're praying for Mary today, for Kelsey, and for Charles, and for Every sick person in a hospital, in an ICU ward, in a COVID ward, a cancer ward, God, we're lifting them up now in prayer because we know that you're a healer. We know there's nothing too hard for you. We know that you're able to touch God. Lord, stretch out your mighty hand. Oh, God, speak, and there will be healing. Speak, and there will be deliverance. Speak, God, and there will be recovery in the name of Jesus. God, shout Oh God, you're a healer. You're a healer. We know that you're a healer. Oh God, do it today, God. We pray for the many bereaved families today, God. Oh God, we pray for the Payne family. We pray for the Oliver Turner family, for the Mott family, for the Lowe family, the Shackelford family. We lift up the family of Kalila Davis. God, we pray for the Blackwell family, the Howie family. We pray for the Ebron family. We pray for Lorenzo. We pray for the Davis family, the Johnson family. We pray for Deborah Thompson and her family today. We pray for the Andrews family, the Robinson family, the Hamilton family, God, the Whitehead family, the Holmes family. We lift up the family of Ethelene. Wilson today. Lord, comfort them now in the name of Jesus. We pray for the Maddox family. We pray for the Banks family, the Staten family, God. Lord, we're praying for the Clark family, God. Remember Tommy and Michelle, oh God, in the entire family. We pray for the Zapata family. Oh God, we pray, oh God, for the Felix family, for the Washington Fields family. Oh God, for the Lloyd family, the Allen family. We pray, oh God, for the Taylor family, God. We pray, oh Shania, for the Giles family, the Carter family. Oh, God, every grieving family, God. We pray for the Sneeze and the Purdies. We lift them up to you, God. We pray, oh, God, for the Banks family, God. Oh, God, they just buried Elder Banks. God, we pray for that precious family and church family. God, we pray, my Shataye, for grieving people everywhere. Oh, God, for the McLean Melvin family, for the Gary Porter family. God, we pray for those that are fighting with grief, those that are fighting, oh, God, bitterness, those that are fighting anger, those that are fighting depression. 
depression. Lord, you're the God of all comfort. Lord, come and visit with them in a special way. Come and give them their support in the midst of their sadness. God, help them now because we know that you're able. God, I pray today for the entire body of Christ. I lift up every apostle, prophet, pastor, evangelist, and teacher. I pray for every bishop and elder. I pray for every first lady, every mother missionary. Oh God, I pray for every young person in the church, God. I pray for every psalmist, every singer, every musician. I pray for every minister and deacon, every disciple in the body. Lord, help us to know who you are. Help us to understand who you are. Help us to grow in your grace. Help us to know, oh God, your love. Help us to know the capacity that you are trying to build in us. Lord, that we might lay claim oh God, to what belongs to us. Lord, strengthen the church now. Edify the church as we approach Pentecost. God, give us a revival of the Holy Ghost. Give us a demonic deliverance today, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, stretch out your hand. Stretch out your hand, God. We're praying today for first responders and essential workers everywhere. God, we're praying that you would cover and protect them, that you will remember doctors and nurses and orderlies, that you will remember, my God, people that work in hospitals, nursing homes, rehab centers, clinics, my God, that you will remember, my God, those that work in schools and those that go to school. God, cover and protect. Lord, even as they begin to release or relieve some of the restrictions, God, we pray against another spike. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we pray for those that are receiving the vaccine. God, that you would cover and protect. But God, our confidence remains in you. God, continue to bring the numbers down. Continue to stop the hospitalization rates. God, continue to bring down the mortality rate. Lord, stretch out your hand to India. My God. Oh, God, that mega crisis there. Lord, God, deliver and touch in the name of Jesus. Lord, remember, oh, God, all of the countries. God, remember Trinidad and Tobago. Remember, my God, St. Lucia, St. Kitts. Remember the Dominican Republic, my God, Grenada. God, remember Jamaica today, God, Canada. Remember the United States, Lord. Lord, the upheaval, the unrest, the disconnection, the division, the hatred. My God, step in and bless God as only you can. God, we pray because we trust you. We pray because we honor and acknowledge you. We pray because we have faith in you, God, that you will do everything that your word says you can do. God, we thank you. Oh, God, bless us today, God. Make our day fruitful and productive and make our day peaceful, God. And we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, hallelujah. Everybody give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Everybody give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Oh, God, everybody bless him. Everybody bless him. Mm, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Here's my declaration today. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Here is my declaration today. <laughs> the Lord <clears throat> is building my capacity. This will make more sense tomorrow. But if you understood what I shared today, hallelujah. What Paul was praying was that God increased the capacity of the saints. That they would know the Lord, that they would know his love, that they would know his grace, that they would know his promises. In essence, the, he was praying that God increase the capacity of the believer. Because when you can hold more, God can do more for you. And so God is, I'm thanking God today that he's increasing my capacity. Some of you know the song, enlarge my territory. It's, it means the same thing. I'm, Lord, increase my capacity so that you can work in my life. So you can do what you want to do in my life so that you can get the glory out of my life. The Lord is building my capacity because until you can hold more, God can't do more. Until you can hold more, God can't do more. But when God builds your capacity, he can do great things in your life. God bless you today. Thank you so much for joining with us. I sincerely pray that the prayer has blessed you and yours and that your day is off to a great start. As I said earlier, we are in 
fasting and praying from now until Pentecost Sunday. And you can join us if you so desire. We're fasting every day for the next 10 days. We had day one. We're in now day two of this fasting and praying. And you can join with us. If you didn't fast yesterday, you can join us today. All right. You can join us today and be with us. You can join us in this fast and prayer, believing God for spiritual vitality or spiritual gifts, everything that God wants to give in your life, we're praying for release. We're praying for you to receive the Holy Ghost if you want the Holy Ghost, because God is building my capacity. Thank you, as always, for being with us. You can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day. This prayer service is available on our Facebook page. It'll be up on our YouTube channel. You can also access that for other services. You can go to our podcast on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Spotify. And all of this is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our radio broadcast airs Monday through Friday at 1130 a.m. on Gregory Gospel. Dot com. And thank you for your support because these ministries are blessing people everywhere. Thank you for your giving. We appreciate everyone who's given a gift. And if you want to be a blessing, you can do so by sending something to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give electronically um, at www.refugetemplenc.com. You can make a gift there. You can give the GiveLify app. Type in Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church. You'll know you're in the right place, and you can make a gift there. Or you can use our cash app. That is simply dollar sign, the number one refuge. But we appreciate everyone that has sown, and we thank you for your liberality. But most of all, thank you for joining us each day in prayer. And trust me, souls, souls are being blessed being blessed by the prayer each day. So thank you for being with us. Look, have a great Saturday. Enjoy your day. God bless you and make us all productive. Until tomorrow, this is Pastor Davis. God bless you. Shalom, shalom.